faith and intense trust in him. Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is not out of a verse. It's a prayer tonight. Some of you have been in an extended spiritual warfare. You have found yourself fighting and fighting and fighting. And uh, sometimes when you think about the concept of spiritual warfare, you think it will be maybe one battle after another. The truth is the battle seemed to come from almost every front, front on all sides, and they often run concurrently rather than consecutively. In other words, sometimes they happen all at once. And when you're facing an intense spiritual battle of that nature, it's easy to become so discouraged and want to give up because you feel surrounded by the enemy. They say that Chesty Puller, a general in the in the Marine Corps, a commandant, I believe, of the Marine Corps, one time they were they were totally surrounded by the enemy. <laughs> he said, "Excellent. No matter what direction we shoot, we're going to hit an enemy." And that's kind of the spirit we need to have when we're facing these intense spiritual battles. I want to suggest an acronym of faith and in faith being in faith is uh, uh, is uh, faith an intense trust in Christ. Faith and intense trust in Christ, in Him. I mean, in Him, talking about Christ. Uh, trust Him to win the battle for you. Uh, the Bible talks about multiple times to stand still stand and see the salvation of God. Uh, God. God wants to win the victories for us. And sometimes we spend so much time fighting the physical enemies around us that we forget the spiritual component to this warfare. Could we just pray together today for victory in these concurrent battles that are going on around you? Pray for victory for you. Dear Lord God, I pray for victory for my, my beloved brethren. I pray that you'd give them a sense of peace and rest. Help them to know that you love them and care for them and help them to understand that they, they can find rest in the middle of the warfare as you prepare a table before them, even in the presence of their enemies. Give them nourishment, resource, and strength. Lord, cause them to be victorious in their battle. Allow no weapon formed against them to prosper. Allow no fire to kindle upon them. <coughs> Allow no flood to overwhelm them or overflow them. Uh, just give them a victory in these battles that they're fighting and facing. Help them to know that you're with them moment by moment, that they can trust in you and, and they can focus on you they can have an intense trust in him, in you. Uh, I thank you for all that you've done. I pray you'd help us rest tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.